Hey guys, this is Nick uh, with yet another iPad unboxing video. There we are. <clears throat> I went with the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi model since this is mostly a... Um, laptop replacement and uh, I have an iPhone so I didn't feel the need for 3G on the road. I also uh, got talked into the upsell of the official Apple iPad case and slash stand as well as the uh, dock connector for my desktop. Um, this one I wasn't initially convinced on but I decided to get it because uh, I can actually imagine having the iPad uh, running a video or movies or something else over my local Wi-Fi while I'm sitting at my desktop at home, uh, which has been a role that's been somewhat fulfilled by my old uh, iMac for a while. So as far as the packages are concerned, you know, Apple's definitely gone for their... Uh, they're more efficient, uh, smaller scale packaging these days. Um, be nice if it weren't shrink wrapped, but it's also difficult to do one handed, ha. Huh. I feel like I should be playing uh, also Spake Zarathustra while I'm opening this up. It has sort of a uh, 2001 monolith vibe to it. Standing there. And we've got the connector and power brick. The funny thing about this power brick is it actually looks a lot like the previous iteration of iPod iPhone power bricks, but I believe it's actually rated for a different wattage. Uh, so I'm going to investigate that further. Um, I actually preferred this form factor uh, uh, from the older iPod Touch, I think it was, the first gen iPod Touch used this, before the, the really tiny, tiny little rectangular one. And uh, again, uh, on the packaging, we just have this one uh, injected molded plastic piece. Um, it's recyclable, but it would be cool if, uh, if Apple used a little more post-consumer cardboard product for that sort of thing. And uh, more later as I get it synced and installed. I guess I'll uh, turn it on here. There it goes. It's a very tiny apple. And that's my new toy.